Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Fish Out of Water Aquariums. Um, I'm just going to give you guys a quick uh, thing, quick update of what I'm going to be doing here. Uh, I think I'm going to start breeding shrimp. So uh, I just got into it. I have about 20, uh, about 30 shrimp. I'm looking at probably breeding. I have 20 more to come. Uh, I'm going to try it. I don't know how it's going to work, but I hope it does. And if I can, I'm going to start breeding. Um, so here's here's kind of what I got going on here. I'll show you guys. So I have some. I have about 17 cherry shrimp in here, and I have about 10 or 12 orange shrimp. I know it's really hard to see them. Lighting's not the best in here. So this is how I have it set up. I have it in a five-gallon split, right? A ten-gallon with five split right now. So what I'm doing, I'm looking to get some more. I got 20 more coming of cherry shrimps coming next week. I'm going to put it in this tank here. I'm hoping to get about a hundred of them in here. So we'll see how that goes. I'm not sure. But I'm hoping like we can get them to breathe. They act like this pretty easy. I got them. Um, I've been buying my cherry shrimps online on eBay. From a really good guy he's got some really good ones really good colors these colors on these are really good it's just so hard to see and then the orange ones I actually got from uh, flip aquatics which is also on YouTube and it's um, so far I've had one die but um, it's just it's common with these that's why they always send you a couple more because they do tend to, a couple could pass away you just don't know so I got these here so I'm planning on trying to trying to breed those guys I think it would be pretty cool to do that I don't know what you guys think leave me a comment if you guys have any information on it too if you guys have any information um, about shrimp I don't I think I just got into it about a month ago so if you guys have any information about anything that you can help me out just let me know I do have the uh, the sponge filter in there too you always want to have a sponge filter in these when you're doing it because if they do decide to have babies you're gonna you don't want them sucked up in nothing and also with this fill, this one here I'm gonna have to get a sponge for that so they don't get sucked up in there I'm hoping the platies won't do anything to them I'm not too sure I've heard back and forth things that they will and they won't so with their mouths their mouths are so small I doubt it because most of the shrimp I've been getting are pretty good size and I got the guppy him over here I got him on the other side. I'm not sure. I might put some with him too. I'm just not sure how he's going to act. So I'm still working on that. It's a work in progress right now. I'm still looking for for a couple more uh, couple more fish right now. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm looking for another. I had a butterfly pla uh, placo that I ordered and a hillstone hillstream leech that I ordered, but uh, the one was dead on arrival and then the other one died the next day so that didn't work out I'm hoping I can get my money back I should be able to but it's going to take a little bit of time I'm waiting till Monday to deal with the people so hopefully we can get that taken care of so I can get my money back I won't buy from them again they're a pretty good pet store online it actually has a pet store but I don't know I just don't think they were shipped very well and that's what happened because I've gotten other fish before and they ended up okay and stuff so we'll see what happens guys but till next time i'll see you guys later uh make sure you like subscribe to my channel and check out my instagram at fish out of water crims guys till next time see you later thanks